Anyway, but this this is like Ursula's cauldron and she's like about to take Ariel's voice. I don't know what's going on with this. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am excited because I'm opening up the Monster Ball Monster High G3 dolls. And um, in my last video, I took a look at Claudine. Spoiler alert, I love her. But if you wanna see this video, I will put a link up in the iCards uh, or yeah, the iCards up there. And then probably like the suggestions that come up on the screen at the end of this video. Um, so if you wanna go check out that video, you can. But today I'm taking a look at Laguna. So um, I found these dolls at Target. They are $29.99 each here in the US. And uh, so basically $30 each. And I have to say that I think that this is my favorite Monster High G3 line that has come out since G3 started. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. The quality is amazing. They come with so much stuff. Um, I really, really like them. Now, I did find these dolls at the end of another video. Uh, it was the video where I recently went to the flea market and um, I didn't find as much stuff as I wanted to at the flea market. So then I went to Target to buy some new Monster High dolls. If you want to see that video, I will also put that up in the iCards as well. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at Laguna Pink or sorry, Laguna Blue. So anyway, this is the Monster Ball set or line or whatever you want to call it um, but it's basically like a school dance so it's kind of like homecoming or prom or something along those lines um, but anyway so they're all dressed up in their fancy attire to go to a dance the box is designed really interesting it's got like this disco ball kind of 3d element to it uh, and I kind of mentioned in my last video that I don't like the way that they're positioned in the box with this shape because this right here this 3d element distorts the doll so the fact that the doll is here and kind of covered up by that it's kind of a weird a weird decision to display them this way i feel like they should have made the doll be more over on this side so you can like actually see her and then have the accessories over on this i don't know it that's just me you know like it's not my decision to make or whatever plus i'm taking her out of the box so it doesn't really matter <laughs> anyway um but yeah so this is like a disco ball um i also so just notice now that there's like little 3d spider webs added to the the look as well and they're kind of like all over with little sparkle you can kind of see there's like a little starburst in the middle but it's like spider webs and whatever it's kind of cool with these the 29.99 gets you a doll and a whole bunch of little accessories here so we will take a look at those when i get her out of the box there is some new box art here which is this beautiful artwork by darko dark i love darko dark's work and i'm so glad that mattel and the monster high team decided to go with Darko Dark's artwork instead of whatever they were using before. Like, no shade, no disrespect to the artists that did the original artwork on the Signature Dolls boxes. It just was not my favorite style. It's not that it was done badly. I just personally didn't care for it as much. This, I love. I'm really I really really like this style that Darko Dark does and um, Darko Dark has worked on a few different doll lines now uh, including like OMG and maybe Rainbow High I don't know but doing a lot of stuff with Monster High now and I'm loving this now of course these are the other characters you can get in this line they only did four this time so of course this is Laguna and then I already showed you Claudine there's also Cleo and Draculaura I definitely plan on getting Cleo and Draculaura as well, um, especially after seeing them in person. I know I have to have them. Uh, and I'm really, really happy with uh, Claudine and I'm expecting to be really happy with Laguna as well. The only reason I got these two first is because they were my favorites out of the line. So um, that's why I decided to start off with these. Now, um, she does come with like a couple accessories here and they have weird names because Monster High always does these puns. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly read this to you, but it basically, uh, it says her scare accessories is the Shelltastic purse plus lip gloss. 
Oh yeah, so she does have like a lip gloss and then the little purse there. Um, favorite ballroom snack is the Tidal Wave Punch. So there is a, like a punch bowl there. We'll take a look at that in a second. And the monster photo prop is the Octopus Tentacles Mask, which is that right there. So it's almost like a masquerade thing, except I think she's the only one that came with like a mask thing. So it's just because, you know, when you go to a school dance, I mean, I've only ever been to one school dance and it was a homecoming, but sometimes they have like a photo booth thing and you go and do, they have photo props. So you like hold things or wear like the little masks with or the little thing. It's like a mustache on a stick. So you hold it up. It looks like you have a mustache. I don't know. Whatever. So kind of that's what it's the vibes that it's giving me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get her out of the box really quick. I'm going to do that off camera. And when we get back, we're going to take a look at Laguna and everything that she comes with. So I will be right back. All right, so I am back um, and I'm going to show you all of the like I've got the doll out of the box, obviously. So but I'm going to show you the accessories first so I don't forget. Um, OK, so I want to start with the biggest accessory. This is like a really cute little like punch bowl. And of course, it looks like it's spilling over, but it looks like it's a cauldron with stuff. It's like bubbling. Oh, there's like fish bones in it and like seaweed. I mean, it's monster high. I get it. But like, oh, that does not look appetizing <laughs> at all. It's literally a which is brew. Anyway, but this this is like Ursula's cauldron and she's like about to take Ariel's voice. I don't know what's going on with this, but it's hilarious. I like it. Um, anyway, I love the colors. These are literally like my two favorite colors, like the light purple and the teal. Um, but and then it comes with like a little ladle so that can sit in there because, you know, like this the punch bowl at the dance and it comes with two uh, goblet style glasses so uh you know the dolls can drink their punch and it looks like there's little seaweed dripping out of it. <laughs> she does come with a purse that opens um let me open this oh that was really easy okay cool so yep it is a functional purse and then she also comes with a lip gloss does that open yes it does so she's got a little lip gloss here that um, opens. I like that a lot of doll lines are starting to do this, the little makeup that actually opens. I love that. Um, I, what else I love is I love the fact that the purse can be opened and you can put the lip gloss in the purse and, oh, as long as it's in there the right direction. There we go. And then, so you've got the lip gloss in the purse and you can close it for safekeeping. And then this is the little um, tentacle mask. It literally looks like a mustache with tentacles underneath, like Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but yeah, so she, we're gonna try this out on her a little bit later. See if it's, you know, the last thing like with um, Claudine, her balloons were too heavy to hold. So we're gonna see if um, Laguna is actually able to hold this later. Oh, wait, I can actually try this on. There we go. How do I look? <laughs> She also comes with this card and it kind of looks like a Polaroid instant photo of um, her, Claudine and Cleo. So um, Dracula is not in this, but I noticed that each of these are different um, and they only have three characters per one, but they're, they're each different. So like this is the one that came with Laguna and then this is the one that came with Claudine. So, and I'm assuming that the, the ones that come with Dracula and Cleo are all going to, are each going to be different. All right. And that brings us to the doll herself. She is gorgeous. Um, she's giving me kind of like 80s inspired. Okay, here. I don't know if it's giving me 80s inspired or Spanish inspired. Like it's kind of giving me a little bit of both. Um, it could be either. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more Spanish because of the, the if it was like a high side ponytail, very 80s. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I like this. It's very reminiscent. It's kind of like in the realm of some of the other G1 Lagunas that we've seen. Like, it's kind of like a mix between the the foreign exchange student that uh, line that there was a Laguna for that. And then um, it kind of reminds me of, there was also a dance, I forgot what it was called. There was, there was Dawn, of, Dawn of the Dance or something like that, Laguna. Um, it's kind of like a mix between those two with slightly different coloring and, you know, a few different elements. But um, yeah, I really like her overall look. It's very, very pretty. So starting at the top, her hair, it's Saran. I just want to get that out there because we know we all know how I feel about Saran hair. Um, anyway, the Saran hair is very thick. 
it's heavy. Like there's a lot of hair here and I like that. Um, tells me it's probably really well rooted. I'm not gonna check too much because I don't wanna mess up her hair. But um, it is very thick, very nice saran hair. It does have tinsel in it and this is a different kind of tinsel. This is the iridescent twisty tinsel. So where um, Claudine's tinsel is like the flat, simple, decorate your Christmas tree tinsel, but it's like gold with holographic you know whatever um the one for laguna it let me see if i can zoom in on this it's like this twisty tinsel that's like iridescent like a light blue color so it's a little bit different i love 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 the colors of her hair she's got this like bleach blonde color but then like the streaks on top are the blue and purple i think it just goes so well together i love this combination and with her little side part there and everything uh, and how long her hair is and it's got this curl to it uh, it's so good her face is really pretty as well i love the makeup that they gave her i think looks really really good and um all the oh that's what I've, i totally forgot to say this by the way um I meant to say this in the Claudine video and I, I completely forgot, but these dolls, I didn't really have to do too much like comparing. None of them in the store really had any wonk eye or anything like that. It, it was kind of hard to like pick the perfect, like the best one because they were all really good. And at the end of the day, I just had to like glance at them and glance away and whichever one like at a glance to me looked the best is the one I grabbed. Um, just because the, the differences were so minute and it was more of like the placement of where they decided to comb her hair. Um, probably like the placement of the ruffles or like whatever, you know, like how, how big um, Claudine's space bun was, like how much hair did they grab to make the space bun? Like the little things I had to use, but they all looked so good. And like, I feel like if you were, had to order these online that you wouldn't necessarily be disappointed with the doll you got in the mail, even though you couldn't see it before you bought it. Um, so I wanted to point that out because I was really surprised. From what I've seen, the quality control on these seems to be decent enough. Now, oh, okay, she dropped her her purse. She has this hair accessory. It's like this giant flower. Um, I don't know what kind of flower it's supposed to be. I don't know if you, even if it's supposed to be a real flower or not, but there's a little bit of painted detail there, molded detail and painted detail. And it just kind of clips on. This could be used as a ring if you're like a child with teeny tiny figu fingers. I don't even think this will fit on my pinky finger. Uh, I'm not going to try taking it off, but um, yeah, I could probably double as a ring for a kid, but it is her hair accessory. And I kind of like how over the top big like this is. I think it looks really cool. Um, the painted details though are kind of weak in my opinion it's literally just airbrushed one single spot of pink in the middle of this purple plastic um but there's like a bunch of molded details and they would be nice if the details were also painted in but that's okay um looking at her face paint so this is the, one of the issues that i always have with g3 laguna she has these weird scale things on her forehead here hold on let me zoom in so that way you can really see this. So she has these weird scale things. They are always off center. And even like, if you look at this, there's like the green dots stop right here and they start up. Like I had this issue with my other Laguna. Hold on, let me get this one. So this is my first Laguna. This is my like signature, her original uh, original outfit Laguna. Um, I pulled her hair back into just a high ponytail, but it makes it easier to see. So when I have her just like this, some, the scales, is not symmetrical and that really really bugs me and i really just want to take some acetone and remove it now the way i'm holding her i don't know where it's supposed to be because like if i keep her ears and her eyes level when i pull it just looking at this at the top of the screen like you could tell that the paint is not symmetrical but then neither is her hairline <laughs> Um, I just realized that the the part line is not completely centered and the hairline is up higher on this side than it is on this side. So nothing about that is symmetrical to me, but I'm not complaining about that. The thing I'm complaining about right now is literally the dots. So if we line up her ears and her eyes right there and move it down, the dots are like lower down on this side. There's more green ones on this side than there are on this side. and. I don't know why that bugs me, but it was something I noticed and now I notice it on every single Laguna doll that I see. Was it intentional? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they made that decision to, for it to look like that or not. But the, the thing is like, I, because I notice it, it bugs me so much. Like it almost looks even more pronounced and I don't know if it's because her hair is pulled over here and it's emphasizing it or what. But yeah, these dots are not symmetrical 
on our head once again. And it's like one of the least favorite things about the G3 Laguna dolls that it, that I, I don't like. I love that she has freckles. I love her freckles. I love her eyes. Her makeup is usually really pretty, um, but I just do not like the forehead scales. And I think I'm just going to remove them. I think I'm just going to take acetone and get rid of those scales off the top of her forehead because they're not even. Like these are, this original doll, I was like, oh, she just has a couple extra rows on this side. And if I'm careful, I can just erase the, the extra rows so it's more symmetrical. And I could do that still. But then when I looked closer, I realized some of the ones on top are blue and then the bottom rows are green. And if I erase the green on this side, then there will be green on the other side. And it's still not even. So yeah, I think I'm just going to completely remove the scales off this one. I don't know what I'm going to do for this one just yet. I might leave it for the moment because I have two of the original Laguna. That's why I don't mind doing it for at least this one. Okay, I'm getting on a rant and this video is going to be longer than it needs to be. All right, let me look at more details about this doll. So she has some really cool octopus earrings so like I love the details there it looks like an octopus so um, there's no painted details but that's okay she's got like tentacles wrapped around her neck for a necklace and then she also has like these bracelets these kind of look like bubbles to me and then her dress is really pretty so this is the part where it's like I can't tell if it's like flamenco dancer inspired or if it's like 1980s prom dress inspired but like I said I think that maybe it, they took inspiration from a couple different places um, for Laguna you know she's she's had 80s styled outfits in the past and she's had Spanish inspired outfits in the past and I think she's like isn't Laguna in G3 from Honduras I don't know anyway so I mean yeah that, that wouldn't surprise me if she has kind of like some some kind of um, Hispanic or Latin America inspired influences in her outfit or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't want to come across as like ignorant. I just, I'm not as familiar with a lot of that stuff. So I'm just like the parts that I, that sound familiar, I'm trying to point out. But anyway, so this dress is really cool. I love this like um, scale print that they've got for the main part of the dress. And then they have these ruffles here with like the pink and the black with all the painted metallic painted details added on. And there's another little strap here. I just realized there's an extra strap there. It's not completely one shouldered, but that's nice. It'll hold the dress up. Um, and then the skirt down here is double, uh, double layered, two layers to the skirt. And it's kind of got a high low hem, which honestly for a little while, I was a little like iffy about the high low hem situation, just because I think it it was kind of it's a little dated at this point like it was popular in like 2009 2010 around there maybe um but like we've kind of moved past the high low hem a little bit but i think for dolls like it's been kind of popular this whole time to use for dolls but i think it's for display purposes even though the metallic paints on the outside not the inside but this way you can see the skirt on the back side you know if you have them like displayed on your shelf or whatever so just like other Laguna dolls, she has the ombre from pink to blue, transparent. Um, I think the pink paint, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think it goes down as far. Wait, I literally have another Laguna here. I can, no, maybe it's about the same. No, I, well, okay. I think that my Laguna's paint goes down a little further, but it's, it's very chipped um just because the paint comes off extremely easy i don't know about this one i'm not going to test it out i don't want to scratch it if it is just as easy as the the first wave was for the paint to come off i'm just going to be careful and like try and keep it nice but she has her like clear fins just like the other um laguna dolls and then look at her shoes oh my gosh once again monster high knocks it out of the park with these shoes once again i am very much getting monster high g1 from these shoes I'm loving it because I kind of mentioned in my last video that I'm not I haven't been a huge fan of Monster High G3 shoes I think the design is there like the concept is there and it looks really cool and it's conceptual and everything but they're like frumpy and clunky and they don't really look that great in my opinion these are flattering but maybe it's just because I like the heels I don't know they just a lot of the Monster High G1 shoes they look too bulky and I think that's to give them a slightly younger look whereas these look a little bit more mature and I'm an adult doll collector and I like the more mature look for my dolls rather than the childish looks so maybe that's why but anyway I love these shoes <laughs> but like they have like the rope and the coral 
designs molded in. There's no painted details, but they do have these added on flowers, which um, apparently are removable. It's literally, oh, I don't know if they're intended to be removable, but they're just kind of held on by like a little peg. I'm not going to take them off, but other people, I think my froggy stuff did, um, but other, other people have taken this flower off and the shoes look really cute without it as well. I don't want to do that because it will leave a hole in the shoe strap where the flower is supposed to be. So I'm just going to leave it on for right now. This is my favorite color purple, by the way, this like purple color with the blue sheen to it, the blue iridescent when you move it, that is my absolute favorite color of purple. I never know how to describe that because it's not like one solid flat color. It's a like a color shift or like an iridescent, but I, I love this. I love when purple is basically this shade of purple, but then it does that little shift to blue. I love that. All right, so I've got her holding her purse. Um, the purse does not close on anything, so you just kind of got to hang it on her wrist there. But I want to test off this little thing. Um, oh, I guess it's got to go on her right hand here. Hold on. I'm going to switch her purse over to the other hand. All right, so she's holding her purse there. Let me give her this little mask thing and see if it's actually functional, if she can hold it up. Okay, okay. So she can she can hold it. Um but it is a little bit heavy. It's a little hard for her to, to manage and her wrist keeps wanting to fall forward, um, but she can technically hold it. So there we go. So Laguna can hold her little, her little photo prop. So that is so cute. <laughs> so there we go. That is Laguna Blue from the Monster Ball collection from Monster High G3. I love this doll so much. I love this entire line so much. I, I feel like this is what I've been missing. Like when Monster High first came out I was for G3, I was really excited about it and I bought all of the characters. Like I bought all their signature dolls when they came out, including the exclusives. So like Deuce was exclusive to Amazon, Torlai I think is exclusive to Walmart and um who was it? Gulia was exclusive to Target. And then later we got uh, Twyla with the creepover line and everything like that. You know, I wanted to have at least each of their signature dolls. Um, but like, as I kept going and they were releasing dolls, even the signature ones, um, and then eventually the creepover and a few others, I was just like, eh, I'm not really feeling the designs. I'm actually kind of losing interest in Monster High as an adult doll collector because it looks more juvenile, a little bit more, not that that's a bad thing, Not I'm not insulting it. I'm just saying it looks a little bit more young inspired, which is fine. That's literally what it's for. These are toys for kids. You know, like I know that I'm not the main demographic, but I was losing interest in them. And then Monster Ball comes out and I'm like, oh my God, I love these so much more than I thought I would. I'm, and that's, a, I'm happy about it, like <laughs> obviously, but, it, yeah, so I'm I'm really really happy with how this line is and this line is like really saving Monster High G3 for me and I hope we see more stuff like this like Monster High team if you're watching this like keep doing this have more fun with these designs like this I love this so much and I mean like if it takes adding five dollars to the price point to give them nicer hair and um, you know like better outfits and stuff like that then do it like I'm here for that I am so happy with this I love where this line is going I'm really excited to see what happens in the future um, that being said, especially after like my last video where I think maybe I said it earlier in this video too, but um, basically I've decided that the Monster High G3 dolls that come out with polypropylene hair, I'm most likely not going to be buying, you know, because that's that's one thing when you have the same price point for all these dolls and then some of them have saran and some of them have polypropylene. I just won't buy the polypropylene ones like unless if the design is so good that I can't avoid it, like with Disney dolls, Disney Illy dolls. I love those dolls so much that I can look past the hair quality. Um, but for Monster High, I have to love the design. I have to, you know, really like the design to begin with, but then you throw polypropylene hair into the mix and I'm just not happy as a consumer. I just don't want any more dolls that have polypropylene hair in my collection. I just, I'm tired of it. I don't like that hair, that hair fiber. Uh, and I kind of went over that in my last video as well. Going into the more positive realm of thing, things, um, Monster Ball is blowing my mind. Like they're going, they're just 
they did so well. They blew it out of the water is what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so happy with the Monster Ball dolls and I can't wait to get the other two in the line. Um, and if you were on the fence about these dolls, this is your sign. This is me saying, I recommend these dolls. Go get them while you can. Like if you have to wait till they're on sale, I completely understand. But if you were just deciding if you like them or not, get them. They're worth it. They are so good. So anyway, I'm going to get going for right now. Um, I'm going to try and get started editing these videos so that way I can have them up this week. Um, and I have a few other things that I want to get done. But thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoy hanging out with me and you know you like doll collecting or like hearing me ramble about dolls and stuff like that and you want to stick around, then why not subscribe? Ring the bell. You'll get notifications when my new videos come out so you don't miss any of them. Um, I definitely plan on getting more Monster high dolls as long as there's no polypropylene hair uh, and then I also do more than just monster high obviously if you're new here I do a lot of Disney dolls Disney princess Disney illy um, you know and a lot of other stuff rainbow high non non surprise brats you know I've got a lot of stuff that's like stacked up and waiting for me to unbox and stuff like that so I have so many things coming out and a lot of doll restorations I'm getting more back into like cleaning up like thrift store dolls and secondhand dolls and stuff like that coming up so Come along with the ride for all, or you know, join the ride, whatever. Jump on the bandwagon. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to get going, but thanks so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.